Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Ticking Together. Oof. As always, the goal of this channel is to provide education about and to raise awareness as to what it's like living with Tourette syndrome. Oof. In today's video, I wanted to address my top 10 weirdest vocal tics. But, oof. For those of you new here, let me just back it up. My name is Carly, I am 24 years old, and I was diagnosed with Tourette syndrome when I was 12. Tourette's is a neurological disorder which causes me to make involuntary movements and sounds known as tics. So the things you're seeing my body doing and the weird sounds I might make in this video are tics, and they are involuntary and pretty much uncontrollable. Today's video though, ugh, is focused on the vocal tics. And vocal tics are a doozy for many reasons. Mainly because with motor tics, I can kind of hide them and redirect them into ways where people don't notice them as much. But with vocal tics, it's a lot harder to suppress and a lot harder to kind of stifle them. Ugh. So in today's video, we're gonna, I got rice. We're gonna talk about my 10 weirdest vocal tics. Let's get into it. Coming in at number one, my vocal tic that has lasted over a year that has just been bizarre is I got rice. I got rice. Just a little disclaimer for this video. When I talk about certain tics, a lot of the time I will end up doing that certain tic because talking about tics is a trigger in itself for said tic. So before you come at me and say, oh, you're faking, um, a lot of the time when I say a tic, I will, or when I mention a tic, I will verbalize that tic. So I Got Rice is one of my longest lasting vocal tics that has stuck for over a year. And if you follow me on TikTok at Ticking Together, you will likely have heard this a lot. Even on my YouTube channel, I Got Rice. I say it quite often. I don't know where it stems from. A lot of people have asked me, Carly, why do you say I got rice? Couldn't tell you. And this just goes to show that vocal tics are completely random. They are not revealing my innermost thoughts. They're not something I'm thinking. I do not have rice half the time. Like right now, got no rice, but I will end up saying I got rice, don't have any. So it's, it's bizarre, but that's my number one weirdest tic. Coming in at number two, this tic has stuck for a little while now, and it is also very bizarre and again, nowhere near my thoughts is the communists are coming. Ugh. And a lot of the time I will whisper it like the communists are coming. Um, the communists are coming. That was a tick that one. And you'll notice when I tick a lot of the time I look up or I roll my eyes or I do, I have a lot of movements that coincide with the vocalizations. So the communists are coming started as just communism. I would sometimes yell communism. That hasn't happened for a while but it's kind of merged into the communists are coming and it is bizarre. A lot of people get a kick out of this one and they're like, okay, but ugh, it's, it's weird. Honestly, ugh, couldn't tell you where it came from either. A lot of these ticks just come out of nowhere and sometimes they stick. Ugh. The next tick, if you're familiar with my Tourette's Against Humanity videos, which I post sometimes where I play Cards Against Humanity, but replace the blanks with my vocal ticks. You'll notice that I have the word cheese as a tick a lot. Jesus or cheeses. <laughs> um, also don't know where these came from. A lot of the time cheese is just triggered by the black cards. Cheese is not as prominent as a tick for me, but I do say it quite a bit. Ooh, I couldn't tell you why. Again, it's not like I'm thinking about cheese or that I'm wanting cheese. Vocal tics are completely random and involuntary and do not represent anything that I'm thinking. The next vocal tick, Ugh, which I find is super weird is wanna play chess. This one is so stupid because I will be in serious conversations and then just bust into wanna play chess as a tick. Wanna play chess? Ugh. Wanna play chess? Ugh. And I never wanna play chess. Like it's not something I want. Again, it's not my desire. It's not what I'm thinking. It's just something that is, I might've heard one time and it's just stuck in my Tourette's brain. And as a result, I have to repeat it. And I'll just say it whenever, like mid conversation by myself, like by myself, I don't wanna play chess, but this is just something that happens that is also very bizarre. The next vocal tick, which is super weird, and it was actually my first ever vocal tick, was a bark like a lap dog. It's a high pitched, ah. I'm not gonna do it too loud because I don't wanna trigger myself, but it's like, a, ah. like that, ugh. And I don't do it as much anymore, but the odd time I get this bubbling in my throat, like I gotta bark now. 
And it's really weird because, again, I'm not a dog. I don't want to bark. But I get this bubbly sensation where it's like, this needs to come out now. And if it doesn't, I get uncomfortable and panicky. This just goes to show that premonitory urges are a really, really real phenomenon, which is this kind of buildup of sensation or like an urge you get before the tick comes out. A lot of the time you'll feel it before it happens. And so it's like you're fighting back the urge, like I don't want to tick, but if you don't release the tick, it's painful. So yes, I bark and I'm not proud. The next tick ugh, is my newest vocalization, which is the UG tick or the EW tick, the disgust tick, ugh, which you guys have probably seen a lot. This one came a few weeks ago and it has already lasted a lot. It has become one of my most prominent vocal tics, which is paired with a movement of the eye roll and the kind of like neck shrug. Ugh, ugh. So I say ugh or ugh or ew, ugh. And this one, when I talk about it, I totally trigger it, ugh. And it's hard to suppress this one. It is really hard to suppress. But again, with this one, I am not disgusted. I am not grossed out. I'm not weirded out. Ugh. It's just something that my brain is needing to release. I get this build up, as I said, and I need to say, ooh, and I do it. And it's weird because it is paired with a motor tick. So technically this would classify as a complex tick because I have motor ticks and vocal ticks ugh, happening at the same time. My next weird tick is really awful. Ugh. So the name Jerry or John or Jean or Johnny or Jeremy, any J names really, really stick out to me. For some reason, I get that really, really good feeling when I say Jean, Jean, Jean. And so Jean is my French tick where I say the male French version of John. But the tick that really bothers me is when I say Jerry's a bleep. Jerry's a whore. Jerry's a whore. Um, I, ugh, I don't like to talk about this one. I have an Uncle Jerry. This tick is not related to him in the least. I again have no idea where this would have stemmed from. It's just something that is stuck in my head and I have to say it. I say it a lot of the time when I'm alone. Um, I try and suppress this one all the time because it, I think it's rude. Technically this would be classified as coprolalia or a form of coprolalia because it's an involuntary utterance of an obscene word. And it's just bothersome because like I don't mean it. I never want to insult my uncle or any other Jerry's out there. Um, ugh. And it's just, Jerry's a whore, oof. And it's just stupid and it's, this is why Tourette's isn't funny. Um, Cause I don't mean this stuff. It just happens to come out of my mouth and it's, it's hard when you have something coming out of your mouth that you don't mean. And a lot of the time if people don't know that I have Tourette's, they're like, and it's hard for me to explain. Like I, that's not what I'm thinking. Like not at all. Ugh, I got rice. Mm. The next weird tick that I have is saying hi. And this is not super weird. Hi. Ugh, but I say it all the time. In a lot of my videos, you'll notice I say hi in a kind of a cheery tone. Um, and it's just something, ugh, my butt cheeks are tensing. It's just something that is kind of, it's an okay tick. Ugh, hi, hi, I got rice. I'm totally triggering myself right now. Um, but saying hi is a tick that I kind of like because it's not anything bad, it's just a greeting. Okay, side note, tensing your butt cheeks as a tick is so uncomfortable and I hate it. But yes, hi is another tick. I don't know what number I'm on. Oh, well, let's do two more. Ugh. The next weird tick that I have is jelly on a plate. This one came a long time ago, but it's come back. It's made a reappearance. And I don't know where it came from. Jelly on a plate, jelly on a plate jelly on a plate and I usually jelly on a plate I usually say it really fast like that and again I don't have jelly on a plate don't know what it is I feel like this is like a meme or something I've heard of it I think this is a form of echolalia because I think jelly on a plate is a thing and I feel like I might have heard it in my past and so something in my brain repeats it as a tick I don't know comment if you know because I don't Ugh. and the final weird tick for this video is saying 20 in a British accent 20 20, 29, 7, 29. I honestly, you guys, I'm triggering myself hardcore, but saying numbers like 27, 29, whatever. The numbers I say, for some reason when I have number ticks, they're always British. This just goes to show that echolalia is also a thing because even if I haven't heard someone say 20 in a British accent, perhaps, 
I, I've heard British accents, so I repeat that as a tick. It's bizarre. Echolalia is a strange phenomenon. It literally means the echoing of someone else's words, sound, or phrases. It's, it's very bizarre. Tourette's is strange in general. But there you have it. Those were my maybe 10, maybe less weird vocal tics. I got rice, ugh. I hope you enjoyed this video because I triggered myself a lot for you guys. Um, but I wanted to spread some awareness and shed some light on Tourette's syndrome and show that it's not a joke. It's not, ugh, it's not cute. It's not quirky. It's not something you should desire to have. It's not a trend. It's not something that TikTokers should be latching on to. If you haven't seen my videos about that, I will link it up there. But there's a huge trend going on right now where people are faking Tourette's and it's so bothersome. So just know that it sucks not being able to control your movements or sounds. Like it's not ideal. So just keep that in mind and just be kind. If you like this video, ugh. Hi. I got rice. Ugh. Chili on a plate. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Leave a comment down below saying hi, telling me what you want to see in future videos or letting me know if you have any vocal tics, what you think about vocal tics, like do you know anything about echolalia? I would love to start a conversation in the comments. I would also love it if you would subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell to stay tuned to all of my content. I post mainly about Tourette syndrome awareness and to provide education and to break the stigma surrounding Tourette syndrome. I also post about neurodiversity as well as some of my life stories living with Tourette's for over 10 years. As always, we're learning together. Ugh. We're laughing together and we're taking together. Have a wonderful evening.